What's going on, guys? It's me, Mikey Pius. We're back again here at the Carrier Infinity. Three and a half ton insole that we did last week. Came out pretty nice. Came out pretty nice. Well, today, that back room right there, we're adding a 15,000 BTU Fujitsu single zone heat pump system. It's gonna be epic. Smash that thumbs up button. And full disclosure, okay. This is the Carrier Infinity Series Communicating Outdoor Condensing Unit. It is not the heat pump model, but it is a communicating model, right? So it has that A, B, C, and D connection, right? Some people commented, because they think they know better, that, oh, Mikey Pipes, you could have spent a few more bucks and added the communicating thermostat. Well, genius, why would the customer pay $500 plus for the Carrier Infinity thermostat when the air handler is not communicating. What's wrong with you? I swear, people are like, they're like a-holes. Everyone's got one. But that's why I didn't install the Infinity thermostat. $500 more, right? Plus, communicating air handler. Some people just think they're rocket scientists. All right, I'm done talking about that. Let's All go. Right. We have the Fujitsu. 15,000 BTU, 20 sear. I'm gonna put it on the wall right there. Right up there, we're gonna keep it up high. I like keeping my stuff high. As long as it's within specifications, we're good. So I got my little giant ladder set up. I got my pilot bit set up. I got the opener. Peter's gonna de-box and de-sticker <laughs> the unit with those tape that that bluish tape that they love putting on here. Oh man, someone commented that it's made in the Philippines. No, it's made in the Democratic People's Republic of China. Where is it? Is it made in China? I think it's made in China. No, made in Thailand. I was wrong. It's made in Thailand. China. You like uh, Thai girls? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. The question for today's video is, well, you can jump in. Come on, we love Latinas chicas. The question for today's video is what time are we going to be done today? It's just me and you. Uh -huh. Right? She ran away. Latina's Chicas. She ran away. It is like 12 minutes to 9. What time? You're going to make your guess in the comment section down below what time we got done. Right? What do I think? I'm not going to disclose that because I'm biased. I could finish in an hour. Just saying. I'm just saying. Closest without going over is going to win an, 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 a pipe doctor hat. An old school pipe doctor hat. It's vintage. You can't, yeah, the blue one. You can't even get him anymore. And I'm going to get Peter a new hat because he needs to retire that one. It's a little yeah, and it's, uh, falling the, apart. The band is a little like. Yeah, special. see, that's what we're going to do today. Smash that thumbs up button. So here's our wall mount bracket. Uh, I kept it up high. I put one screw in to start, then I used this these little like indentations to put my torpedo level on, made it level. I got real lucky with the, this is not even a wood panel, this is like a real wood. So I got a screw in the top and right hand corner, top left and right hand corner, bottom left, middle and bottom right. Now, I like the old school wall mount brackets on the, like the RLB models and the RLS ones where you had the, the bracket went over more. You had an arrow pointing down, you had an arrow here, and that's where you made your penetration for your line set. Here, it says 115 millimeter from this panel right edge to pipe hole center, right? So they tell you to do 115 millimeters, right? But this is America. We don't use the metric system. We uh -huh. use the imperial system. So I had to use Google, and I typed in MM to IN, and I got... 1.45136 something uh, inches for 105, 115 millimeters. So that's four and a half inches. That's two, 4.1 inches. Let's put that right there. Now I feel like Mike, by the way. Mike. Why is the drill in hammer mode? How is Catch. it? I put it on drill mode. He loves hammer mode. I know he loves it. Wow, look at that. And. Let's take a peek outside. All right, so now that my hole is drilled, I had Peter use the opener, right? And 
he cut a hole in the vinyl siding and he put it in reverse, the opener. He put that in reverse, that way he didn't chew up the siding. And now he's gonna run the wire. He's gonna feed me the wire. And then I am going to feed the wire through the back side of the unit. I also straightened out the line set. Some people like to make the connections, the flare connections be directly behind the unit. I like to penetrate outside. That way, once I have this on the wall and the wiring is connected to one, two, and three, black, white, red, I can clean up my work area and then head outside and finish up the job. All right, so I just finished my wiring indoors at the indoor unit. I use the, uh, the blue spade connectors to connect my ground, black, white, and red, to one, two, and three. Nice and clean, and I re put back that little clamp or brace there. Put the cover on, and we'll head All outside. Right, we have our 77mm white line set cover installed. We're going to put the unit right here. I'm working on what I think is the most stupidest, stupidest, uh, outdoor mini split condenser wall mount bracket ever. This retarded wall mount bracket is uh, branded by Diversitec. Let me tell you something, guys. Diversitec, listen to me. Why must you make our li lives harder? Why can't you be like Rector Seal, right? Is it Rector Seal? Hold on, let me double check. Yep, it's by Rector Seal. I get them from supplyhouse.com and they're like $76 each. Easy peasy. Yep, I was correct. Rector seal. Come on, Diversitech. Why must we assemble this thing with all a million pieces? What is wrong with you people? Make our lives easier. I, I promise, Diversitech, I will never, ever, 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 ever buy another Diversitech wall mount bracket for a mini split condensing unit. Absolutely never, ever. Rector seal is my go to brand and it's cheaper. Oh, Peter. And to make matters worse, what is this stupid thing they give you? It's a little makeshift level. Is it really a makeshift level? How does it... It rests right there? Is that where it's supposed to rest? I honestly just guessed, but it kind of seems like that's probably... Yeah. That is ridiculous. Put the torpedo on here. Mm -hmm. Right next to it. Oh, so we could see both. How about go like this? Okay. And now, it's apparently maybe that goes there. <laughs> all right, well, it's not even right. Okay. We good? We look good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and the buck didn't stop there with stupidity with the stupid Diversitech wall-mounted bracket. Even the the foot mounts for securing the condenser legs or feet to the actual mount itself is is not even pre-assembled. You have to assemble every single little piece of this. So Diversitech, you get a giant thumbs down for being stupid. All right. Five minutes to 10. Peter's got the NAVAC flaring tool. He's just, <laughs> he was spinning that thing around like a top. Gotta love the NAVAC tool. Makes perfect flares. Well, 99% perfect. There's always an imperfection there. Nothing is perfect. Only God is perfect. Ain't that right, Peter? All right, so I'm working, I just finished the communication wire. One, two, three, black, white, red, and see it says, please use crimp type terminal for a terminal block. See what it says that right there? It also says use copper conductors only. Utilizer des fils de limitation in cuve. Ooh, cuve. Why is this like in French, if this thing made in Thailand? <laughs> right? Things made in Thailand. Why is it in French? I think that's French. Utilize de fleas? Anyway, one, two, three, black, white, red, green. I have my Echo tools, uh, True Blue, plus vacuum micron gauge right there. Set up to my field piece, VP67. The ballast open or closed? Peter? The gas ballast, open or closed? Uh, closed. Okay, let's turn power on. Okay. So 
So right now, we have just started the vacuum. It is uh, 1021. And we're going to make sure that our valve is open. Okay. Now we're going to see how long this takes to pump down. All right. We are about 20 seconds into the process. And we are at 1,700 microns and dropping fast. Sorry for upside down. I'm sure your head is straining. I'll turn for you if you like. There you go. Is that better for you guys? There you go. 1,000 microns. All right. Um, I'm going to work on the temporary connection for our line voltage supply. Temporary because the electrician hasn't come yet and put a disconnect panel in. So I'm just running 25 feet of half inch liquid tight with uh, L1, L2, and ground. All right. So while we're waiting for the vacuum to pull down, we're at 56, 57 microns. We're not really going down much further than that. 56, 55. We're staying around there. Uh, we finished our wiring, uh, L1, L2 ground. Um, I used the yellow uh, spade connectors. These I used are circle joints. Yeah, I used the circle joints for these, right? Oh, sorry for the, for the uh, these are the circle joints. I don't know what they're called, but I call them circle joints. How's that sound? Circle joints? Catchy, catchy right? Not catchy. All right, actually called uh, some kind of like oval rings. Let's call them rings. You know, blue, blue crimp circles <laughs> and these are the spades look like a little pitchfork see a miniature fork maybe like a prison fork you know of oh, the shape a spork the shape determines whether or not it's a spade uh well we know this is, this isn't a spade. no that's a, that's like a ring, ring? Oh, okay. and this is like a spade i think and these are like these right it's literally a spade. these this is the male which goes into the female show me the female peter Grab a female. Let's see if it slides in there. Slide into her DM. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, she's tight. <laughs> she's tight. Okay, 45.4 microns. There we go. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's just close the valve and see what happens. It's going to jump up. We're at 2, 220 and dropping 209, 206, 205, 203, 201, 202. All right. We're going to open this back up again. And uh, we'll see how low we can go. We've got plenty of time. It's only uh, 10.27. Right, Peter. It is 10.39. If you guys guessed, 24 and a half microns, you're the winner. You're the winner. 24 and a half microns. That's right, baby. 24.4 microns. And she's still dropping down, 24.3. That, that is what you call a very, very, very dry system. 24.3 microns. But the answer is 24.5. I almost had an aneurysm in my brain. Is that a pipe doctor record? Uh, 24.2. I don't know. Can we hit 23? Yeah. Yeah, might as well. Let's clean up. <laughs> Okay, we'll give it a few more minutes. All right, it is uh, 1041. We have 23.8.7.6.5. We have mid 23 microns. 23 microns, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this beautiful install. Um, I We need to make that minimum line set length, so I just looped it around behind the condenser a little bit. Circling it like this is 100% permissible, right? It'd be nice if you can go like this on the ground, right? But then all the oil's trapped down below, all right? So you can coil it this way. Nothing wrong with that, but we got my minimum line set length, which is 16 feet. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're at 23.6 microns. Let's close this valve. We'll see what she jumps up to. Let's see what she jumped up to. We're back at 160, 150, 140. Yep, so we're good. We're good. We have a very, 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 very good system here. Very nice. All right, we're going to um, loosen up our service ports. And we're still dropping, by the way. 126, see? It's closed. All right, let's get a little small crescent wrench, Peter. And we'll open up these valves. All right, correct me for being wrong, but... Earlier, I said 21 or 20 sear. Wrong. 25.3. And 
let's just, we just committed a federal offense, by the way. <laughs> it's a, uh, what does it say? Federal law prohibits removal of this label before consumer purchase. Well, they already bought it. And uh, there's my new sticker. Hope you liked it. Gentlemen, the keys are more than the ignition, but the answer to the question, keys in the ignition, job is done, complete, commission, startup, all that good stuff. Check, payment, all that good stuff. The answer is 11, 11 a.m. All right, the closest without going over, if you won legally, legitimately, without cheating, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com, and I will send you some good stuff. Uh, by the way, do not be tricked. There are some scammers out there that will uh, pretend to be me. They'll have a new, uh, they'll use my face in their in their uh, username and they'll be called this number or text this number. Don't fall for that, guys. Don't fall for it, okay? I will only reach you by Mike at MikeyPipes.com. I will not text you. I, I may call you if you give me your number, but keep that in mind, all right? Be well, God bless, stay safe, smash that thumbs up button. Appreciate it, love you guys. Be well, God bless, bye.